In this video, we will show you how to simultaneously improve the process economics, energy consumption, and CO2 release. Our studies have shown that a large increase in the profit and a reduction of the energy consumption and the net CO2 emission can be achieved by applying the methods for simultaneous process optimization and heat integration, we will use a case study to illustrate the concept and highlight the potential of this method. The starting point is a process that has been designed and simulated already. First, define the problem A using the information about the hot streams that need to be cooled and the cold stream that need to be heated. Next. Define the problem B by looking for the option to further improve the process, for example, minimize the heat duty or the compensation cost, etc. Problem solution and execution will be demonstrated through Aviva Pro 2 simulator, where a user defined module for heat integration, which developed by PSE for Speed, is applied. As the figure shows, the heat integration module is applied externally and the process optimizer will use its result for the next iteration of the optimization loop. Next, follow the demonstration through the case study presented earlier in the PSE for Speed Webinar 1 Part 3. The task of the cyclohexane plant is to produce the cyclohexane from the benzene and the hydrogen, which the reaction is uh, highly exothermic and occur in the Weber phase. So the steam can be generated by the uh, jacketed reactor. 98% conversion of the benzene to high cy cyclohexane can be obtained. The SRK thermodynamics with the API liquid density what's used in this process. And the E1 unit is assumed to have the heat exchanger area of 60.4 square meter. So let's look at the process. The hydrogen and the benzene will be fed to the reactor section. There are one heater and one cooler between the reactor. After the reaction has been complete, the product will be transferred to the uh, flat separator to separate the unreacted gas and the cyclohexane as a product. The unreacted gas, some of them will be purged out and some of them will be recycled back to the process. As I mentioned earlier, that in the same way, we can use the information from the pro CAFD in step nine to set the target for improvement, which these two heat exchanger can be exchanged heated and the purge need to be looked at. It. Uh, to show the simultaneous cost optimization and heat integration, uh, we have at least four steps. The step one, the simulation without heat integration of the initial design. The step two, the cost optimization of the plant to determine the optimal design. The step three, the simulation of the opt optimum operating point with intuitive heat integration. And the step four, the simultaneous cost optimization and heat integration with the step four is the most important step that we will show today. To optimize, we need to set the objective function. In this example, for the cost estimation, we need to use the profit as the objective function, with the profit is equal to revenue minus cost. The revenue is the, the, revenue is the cyclohexane plies plus the generated stream from the reactor, and the cost is the feed, the purge, the compressor work, the flash duty, and the heat exchanger utility. So the price of the chemical and cost of the utility are given below in this table on the left, and the parameter required for the objective function will be given in the table on the right, on the bottom right. Starting with the step one, the simulation without heat integration. So in this step, uh, 
we have added two calculator. The first calculator is uh, we can put the formula of the profit in, and the calculator will calculate it, the objective function for us. And for the calculator to, we will, we, the calculator to, the calculator to is used to compute the purge gas rate in order to balance the hydrogen and prevent the buildup of the excess methane and hydrogen. And the result of this, uh, the step one is that the result of the profit without the heat integration indicate that the profit is approximately 139 dollar per hour. So for the next step, we're going to increase this number and let's see how much we can increase this step. In the step two, the cost optimization of the plan to determine the optimal design. The configuration of the flow sheet in this step one will not be changed and a better design is investigated in order to maximize the profit by solving the following optimization problem. So let's say that uh, a new technology has been developed which allow to obtain a better conversion with a smaller ratio between the reactant in the feed. And also we permit that the feed folate can be get bigger with a higher purity of the cycle exchange. So in, in, in this step, we will maximize the profit by varying the conversion of the benzene between this branch and we will vary the the pure, the, we will vary the folate of the benzene feed, which will be in this print, which the constraint in this case will be uh, the purity of the cyclohexane must be in this print and the uh, uh, ratio of the react reactant must be in this print. Then we will put all the information to the optimizer and the optimizer will maximize the profit, which I will show you the uh, example of the simulation in the cost optimization. So here are the flow sheet of the cyclohexane in the step two, which we can set the objective function in the optimizer. First, we need to shoot the objective function, which in this case is the uh, profit, which I assign in the calculator one. Then we will maximize the profit. And then we need to define the variable that, we, that the optimizer will vary, which is the conversion of the benzene to the cyclohexane and the flow rate of the ben feed of the benzene. And then we need to put the constraint, which the constraint is the uh, purity of the cyclohexane in the product and the ratio of the reactant in the feed stream. And after that, we will run. So we can see that uh, the simulator will run and the optimizer will trying to find the process which has the maximized profit. So it will take some time until the uh, solution will converge. And we can look at the number of the objective function in this table, which right now the solution has already converged and the profit is approximately 260 something. So now let's go back to our slide. So to summarize, right now after we perform the cost optimization, we can obtain a better profit at uh, $259 per hour. So the next step, we will perform the heat integration, which with the heat integration is one of the target improvement in the step five of the pro CAFD. If we consider the stream from the inlet, from, if we consider the stream before the reactor, 
which this, this stream need to be preheated from 45 to 149. And the stream after the reactor need to be cooled from 224 to 49. So these two streams can be used for the heat integration to exchange the heat. And then after we have incorporated the heat integration, we can see that the heat exchanger in this unit is used to exchange the heat between hot stream and the cold stream. But however, uh, one heater and one cooler is still required. But if we look at the profit, after performing the heat in integration, the profit will drastically increase to approximately $1,118 uh, per hour, which is very good. So the next step we will uh, perform the simultaneous optimization and heat integration, which is very important. In this step, we need to use the PSE for speed heat integration model, which the algorithm of this model is based on the reference that I have put in the bottom by uh, Professor Rossman. So uh, we need to put the PSE for speed model as an input file for the uh, simulator, which is the Pro2. And in this step, in Pro2, we need to put the information which include the integer vector elements and real vector elements. So in this step, we can see in the flow sheet that uh, there is one user-defined unit in here. And uh, the Pro2 will simultaneously uh, do the optimization and heat integration in the same time if we put the PSE for speed model, which I will show in the uh, demonstration. So let me close this one and open the step four uh, simulation files. Okay. It would take some time. Okay, then we can see that uh, for the module that we have uh, put, it will be defined as the user added model in here, which when we run the simulation, the Pro2 will simultaneously perform the uh, uh, cost is optimization and uh, heat integration in the same time. So we can add the uh, data for the heat integration in this module. And we will try to run it to see the result. So it will take some time until the solution converts. And the profit will be shown in this table. Which during this one, the Pro2 will uh, simulate the optimization and the heat integration in the same time. So right now we can obtain the higher profit, which is approximately 1,242. And moreover, we can look at the output of the model, which we can click, right click on this file with the notepad. And we can see that the, uh, the result of the model will be printed here. Uh, so there are many iterations that this module need to uh, run. And I will skip to the last iteration, which is the iteration that which the convergence. So the data of the, the input that we put, which consists of the, the hot stream and the cold stream will be in here. And the model will evaluate 
the heat integration, which we shown in this result, and we will discuss in the presentation. So the result of the heat integration is shown in here on the uh, bottom of the right hand side. So as a result, we can see that uh, this one indicate that all of the heating utility can be provided by the process itself and not by the external utility. An important remark to keep here is that because the dimension for the heat exchanger E1, which is the heat exchanger before the reactor, uh, is fixed. So the total heat that need to bring the stream before the reactor to reach a 149 Celsius could not be obtained with this heat exchanger. So an alternative has been found from this information. The flow sheet of the uh, best of the best alternative of the heat integration has been shown in this flow sheet. So <clears throat> uh, we can see that uh, we, we can see that the hot stream leaving the reactor will finish the heating with the reactor feed in our constrained heat exchanger and then start the heating of this stream with the, uh, with the hot side output stream. Then all of the results are summarized in this table. As we can see that the profit has been increased from the step one to the step four with the, uh, I have list the information of the cyclo one to cyclo four in here. So from the cyclo one the original simulation, uh, the profit is just 140, but after we perform the optimization, the profit can be increased to approximately 260 something. And then after we perform the optimization and heat integration sequentially, the profit can be increased to 906, 936 something. But however, if we use the PSE for speed heat integration model and perform the optimization and heat integration simultaneously, the profit can be increased up to 100. Uh, 100, sorry, $1,247 per hour, which is very good. Because of this PSE for speed model, it can help us to consider a new way and a better alternative. The objective of the sustainable process design have been achieved through the optimization and the heat integration simultaneously by using this model. Because of the PSE speed model, the desired variable was also modified slightly. This new value would not have been found if the simultaneously optimization and heat integration have not been done. The further improvement is possible through the process identification, but we have not studied it. I hope you enjoyed with my presentation and get some idea from us. If you have any additional question, Feel free to connect us and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.